Hi, my name is Hussein Kazal from Nuage Networks, and in this video, we will provide you with an overview on Nuage Networks SD WAN 2.0 platform and its ability to host third party VNFs such as the Palo Alto Networks VM series firewall. The Nuage Networks platform is the industry's first and only next gen SD WAN platform enabling the connectivity between business users to business applications anywhere at unmatched scale. It provides seamless end-to-end -end connectivity between those users and their applications in public cloud, private cloud, or SaaS. The Nuage Network Solution is called the Virtualized Services Platform. It's a cloud-native application that consists of a management plane in the form of a VSD, a control plane in the form of a VSC, and then the data plane is represented by an x86 physical CPE called the Network Service Gateway or a virtual CPE that can run on any third-party UCP. We provide a wide range of value-add services that are mixed between embedded features as well as third-party VNFs that are either hosted or service chain. The Nuage platform employs a flexible and open VNF support framework. This framework allows us to support VNFs, CNFs on our universal CPE without requiring any proprietary hardware or complex custom integrations. The management and control plane allows for a variety of features in support of that framework. VNF onboarding, uh, the ability to build a catalog of VNFs, lightweight lifecycle management for these VNFs, including service chaining, of these VNFs into specific uh, traffic flows. The RESTful Northbound API enables customers and partners to build easy integrations that leverage all of these capabilities and features of the platform. This architecture provides many benefits to our customers. The agility by offering on-demand services anywhere in the network, openness and avoiding vendor lock-in with a wide range of partners that offer VNFs. There are also aspects of security and scalability that cannot be overlooked. There are three basic steps to running a VNF in the platform. The definition step where you define the characteristics of that virtual network function. The design and that is how to deploy that VNF in the network and attach it. And the final is deploy, which is picking the target UCPE and managing the day-to-day -day operation of that VNF. Now let's take the Palo Alto Networks VM series example. In the define phase, we create that descriptor for that firewall. In the design phase, we decide how we want to deploy it. And in the deploy phase, we push that VM series firewall onto a particular site before finally inserting it into the data path of a particular application flow. A typical large enterprise deployment includes a VM series on a UCP, Panorama Sentry located, and the first step, as mentioned earlier, is deploying the VM series file onto a particular UCP. Once deployed, it will be managed by the panorama that is centrally located. And then the next step is service chaining, where some flows can be redirected to the firewall, others can bypass it completely. Let's now look at an actual demo. First, we'll log into the Nuage Networks VSD. The first step is to define the VNF descriptor. And before you do that, you have to create the VNF metadata component. The metadata has all of the necessary information to boot up the VNF on the UCP. An example of the metadata file is available in the integration guide. Once created, the next step is to create the VNF descriptor. The descriptor includes, in addition to the metadata, the VNF type and the resource requirements for that VNF. In addition to the description, three interfaces have to be created for this Palo Alto Networks firewall. 
a wine side interface, a land side interface, and a management interface. An important design element to mention here is that it's important to create a separate management domain to carry management traffic. Now it's time to create a VNF instance using the VNF descriptor. We'll create a Palo Alto Networks VNF instance 1, select the VNF descriptor that we had created earlier from the drop down menu, and select the target UCPE in a branch location. Once created, we need to attach the management interface to the particular management domain. And then going into the customer domain, we need to map that to uh, the particular uh, VNF domain and select the target UCP. This will enable the system to automatically create all of the necessary vPort connect connections required to um, insert that VNF into the data plane. Both LAN one side as well as the management interface. Now that we've created that design element, it's time to deploy it. It takes a few seconds and then after the deploy state is complete, you will see that the VNF will be in shutdown mode, shut off. The next step is to actually start it. And this will basically start that VM on the UCPE. And now it's ready to be used and inserted into the data path of actual traffic. In order to be able to create policy to redirect traffic flows to a particular VNF, we have to create tags. And those tags have to be applied on the LAN and WAN interfaces of that VNF. We call these objects redirection targets. And then you can map those redirection targets to vports for that particular VNF. Once completed, once the redirection targets have been created and mapped, next we need to create a forwarding policy. Forwarding policies um, can only be created in edit mode, um, and once created, um, you can assign uh, multiple entries, a single or more than one entry, um, to basically select a source, a destination, particular protocol type of application, and then choose an action to allow, deny, or redirect, and then you select the redirection target that you want to um, send that traffic to. Once uh, done, you need to apply the policy change, um, and that basically concludes the service insertion. We now move to the Palo Alto Networks uh, VM Series dashboard to ensure that the configuration that we applied in the beginning has been pushed down to the firewall itself. Um, we will check the network interfaces, we will check the vWire config, as well as the um, zones that we had uh, specified. Under network, we will see ETH1.1 and ETH1.2. Under zones, we'll see trust and untrust. And then vWires is the vWire that we had created with the two interfaces. Policies, we had specified a couple of test policies and now we'll run some tests. Um, in this example, we're running traffic between two PCs on LAN 1 and LAN 2 on the access side of the firewall of the uh, UCPE, and then uh, that traffic is being mashed and, and steered to the VM series firewall. Um, we will modify the policy to deny. We'll continue to, to make the modification and then we'll run a quick test to prove that the uh, traffic uh, will be basically denied after committing the, those policy changes. We can now see that ping is no longer successful. This concludes our demonstration. For more information, please visit our website, 
at www.newagenetworks.net to download the integration guides for the Palo Alto VM series firewall you can visit the link bit.ly slash newage underscore vm series underscore vnf